Like, if it irritates you, that's got to be tough because you, every TV show. Bro, every store. Yeah. You walk into a Walmart? Yeah. Music. You own an elevator? Music. Oh, my God. If you, you hate in a mu- restaurant? If you in an elevator and you hate music, everyone hates <laughs> elevator music. If you in an elevator and you hate music, you're probably like, ah, get me out of here. Please just get it out. Hey. Dash though, I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen, and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think, and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we hear on trash talk. Hey. What's going on, everybody? We're back with another episode of the Trash Talkers Podcast. We made it. We made it, Smoke. Yeah. Up. What up? You tell me. Everything. You say that every weekend. Yeah. And I'm going to say, now watch this. I'm going to say, what is up then? You said everything. Give me one thing that's up. Nope. When you put on the spot, you're like, oh, I guess nothing then. Mm-mm. Didn't do anything this week. Whole week went by. I did absolutely nothing. Keep it real. You did something exciting. Exciting? Or something, something out of Probably it. a lot of good, like, videos that I watched or something like that. Can't remember any of them when I'm put on the spot, though. Did you drive your RC cars this week? No, I worked on a couple of them, but I ain't had a chance to drive them. It, every time I have a day planned where I'm going to drive those things, it rains. We get a lot of rain, man. I'm we, surprised this whole place ain't covered in mushrooms. <gasps> oh, that's a that's a good thing. Uh, a right, good point. Fakes. Go ahead. <laughs> I found out that there's a, a, a new uh, epidemic starting. No way. Yeah. Not a pandemic. No, 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 because it is pandemic would be world global yes yeah but um there's this new fungus that's going around and it's uh infesting uh healthcare infesting. facilities infesting Is yeah that the right that's word? what i said Infest? yes okay all right go ahead i'm sorry yeah infesting healthcare facilities uh but uh it's uh can candida or however you say it canda can canada <laughs> Canada. Just say Canada. <laughs> I don't want to say Canada Canada's because infested. I was actually listening to a news report and the lady said Canada aura, and I was like Canada, <laughs> Candida aura. Okay, is what it is. But yeah, it's this crazy thing, and it's it's uh, it'll kill people with uh, lower immune systems. Wow. Yeah, like it. I mean, people are they're saying there are drugs to fight it though, so it's not going to be like uh, the C word all over again. Which I'm sure is okay to say on YouTube these days, but at one point in time, you would have got pulled for saying the C word. Is it a fungus? Yes, it's a fungus. Yes, it's a like a yeast, which is a fungus. Yeast infections are fungus. Yeah, that's a candida. That's a fungus. Yeah. A yeast infection. Yes. No. Yes, it is. I've always been told it's like. Making basically making bread. Yeah, that's what they use to make bread. So, bread isn't a fungus. <laughs> yeah, you use a. If fungus. you mold it, if you know, God dang it. Yeah, that's if why it grows mold, mold, which is a fungus. Learn something new every day. Every God dang day, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this thing is crazy. What is man. it doing? Is it like it, it can uh, infect your orifices, like? They they call it aura because it was first found in this Japanese lady's ear. Well, you said pan- epidemic. Yeah. Pandemic. You're talking about Japan now, so. Oh, uh, it started in Japan. That was the first place they'd ever seen this fungus. Was okay. in Japan in 2009, and they had had cases of it popping up here and there. But for some reason, in 2022, the rates went through the roof, and there's like hundreds and hundreds of cases now in America, and Georgia is one of the hot spots for it. Are you serious? Yeah. Why have I not heard of this? It's I, they just started breaking the news um, as we record this yesterday. Wow. Yeah. And, and you guys can look it up. Look up deadly fungus, and it'll be the first thing that pops up. You gonna get the vaccine? I don't know that there is a vaccine. But for if fungus. there, if it got to the point where it's so bad, you're gonna get it. But I don't. Do they do vaccines for funguses? That's only for viruses. Yeah, how would you how would you even contract that? It's, you have to come in contact with it. So if you have it, if I just just uh, if I don't ever touch you, but I sit next to you, do I get it? No, nah, I don't think it's airborne. I mean, the spores could go airborne. Yeah, I imagine. You're right. You know, but the the thing is, is if you're not immunocompromised, you can get it, and your body will fight it off, so you'll be fine. But anyone who has 
that little chink in their armor, mm-hmm. they can get that, and it can grow, and it can infest your blood and your organs. Wow, really? Yeah, it's deadly for some people. Yeah. Damn it, is this something I need to be worried about? I, I don't think so at this point, but, you know, we did say that with, with the, the corona, too. Well, that's a fun way to start it off, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, though. Like, uh, I don't even remember. I think I was just scrolling through shorts or something, and it popped up, and I looked into it. I was like, holy hell, this is breaking news. Why is that not, like, all over the news or the internet? You think it maybe might? it's not big enough yet? And maybe they don't want to panic people. Remember what happened when we had the panic the first time? You know, listen, so we usually ask how Smokey's day, or what's going on with him. He Mm -hmm. gives me this, right? Yeah. No, ask me. How's your day? My uncle died. Oh, wow. This is just a depressing guy. This is just a tragic podcast. We're all going to die, and everybody's already started dying. Even the topic is, are there people out there who just don't enjoy music? (laughs) This is a depressing podcast. God dang. Dang it, I'm sorry. We can all just cry it out today. Just, let me see see if I can come up with something else. Anything not depressing. Anything. Mm. So my uncle passed. Rest in peace to Dante. Um, come on, bro. We gotta have something. We we can't. We gotta <laughs> Anything have something. not depressing happened this week. Uh, um, that is a freaking shame that we can think of a thousand things. <laughs> you know, that's a uh, evolutionary trait I was reading about. Is that here we go? People tend to focus on negatives more than positives. positives. Because it's a defense mechanism. Yes, that's why a lot of people like, you know, you see men and say, oh, I don't have abs, I need to get abs. Or if you see, you know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of, you know, chicks say, hey, I want bigger boobs, you know. They, mm-hmm. they, you're focusing on the negative when you're, you have a beautiful smile. Your entire body is beautiful, but you're focusing on that one negative. Yeah, yeah. It's a defense mechanism. It comes from our ancestral uh, instincts to notice a threat notice something bad so that you can keep an eye on it for survival Mm, that does make sense though so you know when we see threats like if we're strolling through comments we could see a hundred great comments just praising or whatever and being nice but you'll notice that one bad comment and that one will stick with you you know you've done that before actually absolutely everybody does i think i've done that as well i mean you'll see i mean I and def- we appreciate all the great oh, comments yeah, yeah. you guys get. That, that is for sure. 100%. And even if you send a negative comment, we appreciate that one too. Yeah, absolutely. But is that bad though? It's not bad to... No, it's instinctual to focus on the bad things. Like It's kind of hard to break. Like we're, You don't do it on purpose. It just happens. Smokey, we got to come up with one good thing, bro. One good thing. Mm. Um... Let's see. This is absolutely terrible. <laughs> we can't, this is terrible, dude. No. We can think of a thousand bads, but can't think of one. Yeah, that's um, that's it. I mean, the weather's getting better. It's getting warmer. It was, man. It was like summer. It's getting. God dang it. We just, went from like twenty degrees overnight to eighty degrees during the day, in in the course of like a couple of days. Bro, I, I literally woke up and there was ice on my window. Mm-hmm. One o'clock hit. It was 81 degrees. Did you see that fog this morning? Oh, my God, dude. It's like dude, you Dude, that was the worst fog I'd ever seen. Dude, it's like you were driving through clouds. Yeah. And there, I saw, like, almost three wrecks on the way to work. Wow. Yeah, it was it crazy. Because was... I was going down uh, Georgia 20, and this lady pulls out, and I guess she couldn't see me until I got close enough, and she freaked out and stopped right in front of me, crossways in the road. And, like, I had to stop so I didn't T-bone her. Wow. Because she saw it and just panicked and stopped. And Smokey's a... If you ask me, Smokey's the best driver I know next to me. I've done a lot of it. So. Dude, Smokey's put in over a million miles. Yeah. yeah. Probably there's a re- Let me yeah. tell you. Hold on. Let me give you all some inside information. Smoke, hmm. There's a reason Smokey doesn't wear his wallet in his back pocket. <laughs> Would you like to tell them why? Yeah, because I sat on it for so many years doing so much driving that it actually started blocking the blood flow down my leg. That's crazy, bro. So I had to start putting it in my side pocket. How's your how's your, your blood flows okay? Yeah, uh, it's mm. not the best, but uh, it gets the job We're done. We're doing just fine. Everything's going to be all right. Mm-hmm. Let's get into the top three comments from the last podcast. Let's do that. Which is, are, are there, uh, why do people consider some Tool fans pretentious? Mm-hmm. Uh, the number two most liked comment is from 
uh, Hazzy59 it says um, Hazzy says I am a Deftones fan never been a fan of Tool as a musician bass guitar drum um, I understand Tool's music and I like a few of their songs that being said I've met cool fan I met cool fans of Tool and pretentious ones. Mm. I would never make an absolute statement that all Tool fans are pretentious, but I have met quite a few comparatively to fans of other bands. Mm. Radiohead fans can be just as pretentious, and guess what? I like Radiohead, is what he said. (laughs) Yeah. I've actually heard that one also about Radiohead. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, The number two most liked comment from last podcast is from uh, the Eternal... uh, just real quick, quick, I'm going to give a shout out to Jessica Fields. Shout out to you, Jessica Fields. Uh, but, um, okay, so the number two most, and the reason I say that is because she was tied with the, the third one. Uh, but so the number two most liked comment from last podcast is from the Eternal E. Lear. It says, I think it was just a running gag that over time people took, took seriously. It happens mm. all the time in many fandoms. I don't doubt that, actually. Hmm. I bet every fan base has a certain pretentious part of it. I would say so. I'm yeah, a, you would I'm, think. Like, you're a pretentious Tech Nine fan, would you think? I'm, <laughs> I don't know about that, yeah. I mean, I guess I could be. It could come off to some people as pretentious, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And, and the number when people are like, oh, it's not really <laughs> that good. And I'm like, no, he is the best rapper ever. Oh, God. Okay. To stop being pretentious. <laughs> no, the one most liked comment from last podcast is from Crap to Cooler. Hmm. Crap to Cooler says because the really because the the really vocal ones are just like any fandom. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like I have a nephew who's six. He likes dinosaurs, especially carnivores. Transfer that energy into an older kid or an extremely online adult adult and make it about tool and bam. Mm-hmm. You've got yourself that the kind of tool fan who gives the rest of tool fans a bad name because mostly they're cool. Shout out to crap to uh, yes, and we crap. went to a tool concert and we will say, oh my most God. of them are actually cool. Yes, we didn't meet. I don't think we met any pretentious fans at the concert, mm-hmm. right? I will say, I just I just remember me and I don't know who this dude was sitting next to me, but me and this dude was jamming. We was best <laughs> friends. Yeah. And when you the dude that was sitting next to you, he was just like this. <laughs> I guess he was. <laughs> Smoke that was, was over the there weird like, thing about yeah. I'm over there like he's, yeah, he's riding yeah. and dude's just like. That was the weird thing about Tool though, is a lot of those fans were just in there just stone faced. They watched the entire show just like this. I'm used to going to concerts where you jamming, yeah. Instead they're they're just like that dude was in a he was in a yogi stance like this <laughs> like. <laughs> nah, but man, today's topic, dude, we're talking about, do you think, or first of all, I think there's actually a scientific name for this, mm. for people who don't like music. Uh, like misophonia? What? Well, you brought a, what is the scientific name? I don't name know, but I wouldn't expect you to just come off with the top of your head <laughs> like that. Misophonia is when you, certain sounds actually annoy you. Let's see. What is what is it called when people don't like music? People don't like music. Huh. Um. Uh, is there a single name that you can musical and a font musical and anadonia? Oh, musical anadonia. So it's a uh, neurological condition where people don't enjoy music. Mm. It affects five percent of the population. Okay, I guess that's kind of like misophonia, but specifically directed toward music. Okay, being musicians ourselves, mm-hmm. I can't wrap my brain around this. I know. I can't. It's hard to believe. And I would like to actually hear from people. I mean, of course, they're not going to be watching our music YouTube channel. Maybe they are. Maybe they're watching the podcast. Guys, if you don't like music, yeah, leave in a comment. Yeah, I, I doubt we're going to get one, but if you are out there, I would love to hear your explanation. Or maybe there is no explanation. Maybe it's just something inside them that says, you know, I I hear music and nothing is attractive about it. Well, they, it said it's a neurological thing, so yeah. it's some, it's that part of your brain that just doesn't like. Yeah, it doesn't recept the music. music. Yeah. You know what's crazy, bro? I like I, I'm not even joking. It's really hard for me to fathom this because 
there are songs that I equate with my life. There mm-hmm. are songs that I equate with the first time of doing things. Yeah. There are songs that make me cry. There are some songs that make me happy. There are some yeah. songs that, you know, I want to make love to. There are some songs that I want to eat food to. There are songs, eat it, eat it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but there are some songs that just are pivotal pivotal step stones in my life you yeah. know what I mean like yeah. it's like I became a man when I heard this song yeah. or I, my first fight that I lost it was when Eduardo beat my ass it was to this song <laughs> and it was Selena actually I can't remember the name but it was a Selena <laughs> song and Eduardo's Hispanic yeah shout out Eduardo he, he had his theme music play <laughs> <laughs> Eduardo beat me up so bad. He had Selena playing afterwards. That was great. <laughs> that was his walkout music. <laughs> Shout out Eduardo. He's like, hold on. If we got to fight, play track number 10. <laughs> I don't even know any of your songs. But I know it was Selena. I know after yeah. that, he, I heard nothing but Selena. That's Pitt. hilarious. Yeah. Nah, but it, I mean, it's like, how can you not? Like... How? I don't know. I mean, it's a neurological condition, obviously. Is that considered a disability? Mm. Well, think about this. There's a lots of forms of arts, right? Mm-hmm. Some people are not into paintings. I'm, I yeah. would say, are you? I mean, no, I don't seek them out. But I will see a painting and sometimes like, and go, well, that's pretty cool I'm right there. You. I'm with you. You know, so maybe... It, is there anyone who doesn't enjoy any form of art? God damn, what is that called? Like, oh my, you know what I, you know what that's called? What a hater. <laughs> You're called a hater. If that's what, if you just don't enjoy any form of artism, artism, artism. <laughs> <laughs> what, what then no, the then you have artism. <laughs> you are you have artism if you have no You are artistic. <laughs> yes, artistic. Artistic. <laughs> you don't enjoy any art then you're artistic. Dang it. I, I just can't see it because anything could be conceived or per- be con- perceived as art. You know, yeah, uh yeah. making the making of a house can be perceived as art. Mm-hmm. M- uh music, paintings, things like that. But if you're just if you hate everything, bro, I, <laughs> if you hate all forms of art all that, together. I hate your hat. <laughs> you're just a, you're a, a hater. miserable person. You're a hater. Dude. <laughs> God is but if you really go down deep enough and think about it, that it what if there is like a, a Scrooge, man? Humbug. I hate everything. I hate Christmas. I hate, I hate myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate my life. I hate my house. I just hate everything. I wish this goddamn cat would come in here and ask me for food on because I can't stand this damn cat. God. Oh, you know what? I was watching this video. This is kind of off topic, but this guy, um, he was a doctor and he was actually talking about the, uh, the, the fungus that was growing and his cat kept messing with him he would come up and jump on his lap and then he would jump up in front of the camera and he was like listen you hear the cat down there he is singing the song of his native people <laughs> I, I was like dude that's the funniest thing i've ever heard <laughs> I never thought about a cat meow and he's singing the song of his <laughs> native people. That's hilarious. You're right, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I hate songs. Man. <laughs> no, but I just can't. I mean, you know, oh my God. You know what? I actually know someone. Mm. I know someone personally who does not enjoy music. Tell me about it. Her. Her. So, shout out to you, and you know who you are. But she, she's a friend of one of my my friends, you know, mm-hmm. and she does not enjoy music. Like she does, I, I wish I haven't spoken to her directly about it, but I've spoken to my friend who's a friend of her, so I know her indirectly. But I mean, you know, we've hung out and stuff like that. Yeah. But she doesn't like music. Like if you put, you could put Lotta Rollins on for her. She goes, mm, I'm not a fan. Okay, you don't like progressive. That's fine. Okay, let's put on some hip hop. Mm, not a fan. She doesn't like any kind of music. And That's I, so weird. I, I would love to, t- like, God dang it! Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I mean, I, I kind of feel bad saying it's weird because we're supposed to normalize everything these days. Man, no, bro. Just keep it. To, like, why? Because it's a disability, right? If you can't enjoy music, isn't that a disability? Is it? It's a mental disability. That's a disability I don't want. No. That, I can't go without music, no. man. Before, 
Okay, before <laughs> um, podcasts and things like that, what do you do in the car? Do you only listen to talk, talk. radio? I know. Pl- I grew up with people like that. Yeah. I used to when my, my mom used to work at my school she was the principal and she had to stay late and then I didn't want to have to stay there so I would drive home with Mr. Carr shout out Mr. Carr and this fool would listen to Clark Howard talk radio <laughs> oh, and I'm yeah. like what are, and I I'm, used to, <laughs> what are we listening to dude I, I used to ride with a guy that listened to talk radio all day every day but you know what's crazy when I was younger I did not get it I'm like I don't understand it but now that I'm an adult it's like I kind of enjoy podcasting yeah. i enjoy oh, talking dude and we still make mu- music so like it's, most of my time driving is, is with a podcast playing. same here or listening to like beats or music. like every now and then i'll throw a song on you know when i just feel in the mood but mostly i'm just listening for information yeah man i mean it's um i, I don't know I, i'm now i want to have a conversation with her because it's like i just want to all i just want to ask one question like why don't you like music? And mm-hmm. those words have come out of her mouth. I just don't like music. And when you listen to a podcast, do you skip past the intro? Because most podcasts start with music playing. Hey, right? blast off. I yeah. can talk my ass off. Do you hey. have to skip past that every time? Some people. Can I- you handle it? Like, can you Ooh. actually be like, yeah, I don't enjoy this, but I can, you know, I'll let it play. Well, what about this? What does it do to them? Do you think it makes them, does it make their skin crawl? Like does it make them like, like, yeah. you know, nausea? That's the question. If the people who claim that they don't like music, does it actually irritate them when they hear it? Or is it just like, ah, I take it or leave it. I don't really seek out music. Like, if it irritates you, that's got to be tough because you Every TV show. Bro, every store. Yeah. You walk into a Walmart? Yeah. Music. You own an elevator? Music. Oh, my God. If you, you hate in a mu- restaurant? If you in an elevator and you hate music, everyone hates <laughs> elevator music. If you in the elevator and you hate music, you're probably like, ah, get me out of here. Please just get it out. <laughs> <laughs> you're pressing the button. Four, 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 four. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, <laughs> When I worked at Hardee's, we had uh, a station, I guess most restaurants and uh, establishments play this station that you would get it was a satellite radio station called muzak i god dang it i remember that yeah yes and everybody played this and they would always be like top 40 hits yeah like from the department past stores and stuff yeah i remember that okay it'd be like where have all the cowboys gone oh. mm-hmm. <laughs> and you would hear like the same song like 25 times if you're working an oh. eight hour shift you're going to hear that same song like 25 times in a day now it was like there was only 10 songs in rotation <laughs> i mean bro we just heard the song 10 minutes ago <laughs> exactly. but now hold on now that might put i would say 95 percent of people in that category with an asterisk let me give you an asterisk mm. here here's the asterisk if you hear the same song over oh, and it does over, get annoying. eventually you're going to be like, I cannot hear this. I think that's a lot of the people's problems. Like when we cover some of the biggest songs in history, there's always that part that the people are like, God, I hate this song. I heard it so many times. But you originally enjoyed it, right? Like that's why it's one of the big. Like what's one of the biggest songs ever on YouTube? Um, a Wiz Khalifa. I, I, bro, I, I was just about. It, it will ever see you yeah. again. That's one of the like most. Everybody knows it. Everybody enjoyed it for the most part. I mean, it's got 5 billion views. It's played at every wedding. Yeah. It's played at every funeral. It's played at every birthday. But party. you don't seek it out because you've heard it way too many times. Or Gangnam Style. I, bro, I swear <laughs> to God, I was going to say that too, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah, songs like that, like, I get it. it. It can be annoying after a while. Like, too much of anything is, is bad. Like, you, you can enjoy ribeyes. But if you eat, eat them every, every day. single day, multiple times a day even, after a couple weeks, you're like, I, I hate this If stuff. I see a damn piece of meat, I swear to God, I'm <laughs> yeah. punching my face in the wall. Yeah. I tend to do that because I get on kicks when I enjoy something. Oh my something. god, me too, dude. Like especially food. Yeah. Like I'll get I'll get on like tool. I was on a tool ki- uh, kick, and there were I, I I could not listen to anything with t- nothing but tool. Mm-hmm. I would wake up and tool would be in my head. Like yeah. And I'd be like I have to hear the song. I'm in the shower playing the music, and then I'd go through the same thing with food, like mm-hmm. pasta. I love pasta. It's terrible for you, I know, but god dang, that's one of my favorite. Oh, foods. I know. Yeah, I go through it too. But I'll do it until I'm like, all right, that's enough of that. And then I don't want it for months. I went through a ramen noodle uh, mm. um, 
phase not too long ago. I'd have definitely packed the pounds on. Oh, my, yeah. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'd have put on a little bit of weight. But, nah, this was about six months ago. Yeah. But it wasn't ramen noodle like in the microwave or on the stove. Mm. It was jailhouse style. Oh, really? If y'all don't know about jailhouse. Why? It, bro, It. I don't know why, but when you put. I want to remember the days of no, jail. it tastes better, dude. I, no. s- I swear to God, if I made. No. Smoke. No, I swear. If I made you some jailhouse ramen, no, noodles, I, I've had it. I've had it. You ain't uh, had Hollywood, <laughs> bro. You like you like Cheetos on this? Yeah. Oh my god. You like Cheetos? I do the same thing with 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 uh, skins with. Uh, See, we call them skins down. Yeah, here. but uh, pork skins. Yeah. If you eat them, too, like I'll I'll get on them and then I'll eat them and then I'm like, all right, I can't eat no more of these. But I do it until I'm exhausted of it. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'll, I'll go a year without having them again. Because I'm like, but then when just you, the thought of them, I'm like, oh, uh, I don't yes. want that. See, that's with me right now with ramen. It's like, oh, dude, I, <clears throat> I've i had so much. And I make them to where, I mean, it's a perfect brick. Mm-hmm. And they're so goddamn. God, did you make I'm, it in a Cheeto bag? Nah, see, I've learned the better way to do it. Which you, I got, I, I ain't going to explain. Uh, okay there's these bags that i get from work sorry job if you're watching this i'm sorry (laughs) but there's these perfect bags they're like these big old bags and then you just open them up you throw your noodles in there you throw your uh your season in there you throw your your uh pork skins in there you Mm -hmm. throw your cheetos in there you shake it up make it all good you got to make sure that water's like damn near scolding mm-hmm. put it in there not too much now you don't want it to fill over the noodles you want it like right there you seal off all the air pull that tight roll that bad boy up and then mm-hmm. wrap it up in like a, a towel as tight as you can mm-hmm. and then when it comes out it's just like a perfect burrito you yeah. cut that open <laughs> nothing better man i mean but I, I i i have no desire for it now because i went through them for like two months yeah. but maybe that's the thing with music like it's just something that you think somebody ever hears too much music in their life? Smokey, we might be that. I don't know. Like, there's definitely times where I'm like, oh, man, I really don't feel like going to a concert. I know this is a sin to a lot of people that watch mm. this, but I enjoy concerts. I absolutely love them. Yeah. But I have been to so yeah, many you've experienced that I need breaks from time to time. And that's fine. That's mm-hmm. fine. And not only that, as you get older, you know, like, hey, this is my day off. I wish. I've told people this, too, man. I wish I could go back to that feeling that I had the first, like, ten concerts that you go to in your life. When you just walk in and you're so amazed, like, oh, my God, this is live. Like, here's the artist I've seen that I've always wanted to see in this live right in front of me. Like, it is an amazing feeling. It's like a euphoria. But once you hit... 50, 60, 100 Jesus. concerts. You think you've been to that many concerts? Oh, yeah. I've wow. seen hundreds of concerts, man. I might have been to eight. <laughs> I, really? Well, I mean... Besides the one you've actually yeah, been the in. the one I've been in. Yeah. Probably the ones I've actually seen might have been eight. Yeah. I mean, not only performing them, but going to these festivals where you'll see 60 acts in a weekend. Okay, well, now if you're counting festivals, because you got to think, Music Midtown, I mean. Yeah, you're, you're going right. to see. I used to go to those uh, Stone Mountain, the free shows, and uh, the ones at Centennial Park. How do those bands make money at those free shows? I think the, the, the count or the city pays for them. Hey, here's an underground band called the Dirty Microphones. We're gonna. Get... <laughs> so you mean? No, no. I mean, I saw, I saw uh, the Black Eyed Peas. Wait, wait, I saw free... Ziggy Marley. So wait, wait, it's it was a free. Twist the... It was free. Yeah. And you said that you think the city. Yeah. So that means your tax dollars. Yeah. Wow. And then you just get to go see free. Uh, sometimes radio stations would put them mm. on, and the radio stations would pay them. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Just to advertise the radio station, you know, and they'd be out there giving away. Uh, 99X or 107.9 t-shirts or whatever. I've been to birthday bashes. Oh, I've been to those. You go to a birthday bash, you're going to see 12, 15 artists play that night. You're right. I mean, in, in Atlanta, I don't know if it's a thing where you guys are at, but in Atlanta, a lot of these shows are free. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you do like, I went to 107.9 and I had free tickets. And that's, I don't know if that really makes a difference because... I've been to so many concerts for free. Yeah. That maybe that kind of jades it because if you paid for it, you're like, I'm definitely going to enjoy it. Yes, I'm going. I'm going. (laughs) Yeah. 
Man. But when you you get free tickets, you know, you show up and it's I don't know, it, it gets kind of mundane, I guess. Yeah. I Even mean, though there's still plenty of artists out there that I want to see live, there's no doubt about it. Top three. Top you three. Want, before you die. Top three. White Zombie or Rob Zombie. I Which one, see. White Zombie or Rob Zombie? There's a difference. Well, I don't think we're ever going to see another White Zombie concert, but oh, Rob okay. Zombie. Okay, Rob Zombie. Mm. Man, I've seen so many of my idols. Um, Have you? Seen, yeah, I was going to ask you a stupid question, but I'm not going to ask dude, you. Dude, I've seen Master P, Mystical, Mystical's Three Six Mafia. So many. Life, so. <laughs> yeah, that ain't going to happen again. Um, Why is it so hard for you to give me top threes? Because I'm trying to narrow it down. Smoky brain go like I say top three that motherfucker. So he when he's talking to me, it's it's Earth. When I ask him a top three, that motherfucker goes to the universe. He's like, hold on, wait a minute. I'm like, bro, just keep it on Earth. Yeah, because I could just spit out three names and then three minutes later I'm gonna be like, no, no, here's some be- here's a better list of names. Well, okay, so Rob, all right, if top three, I would I, definitely Rob Zombie. Seen That's been six? in my mind for a while. It's just God. like five times. I, I, I would love to see three I saw six. them individually. I mean, but did you see like three six? Like the the entire Yeah, I saw the oh original six. I, I saw Gangsta Boo. Uh Who I will... saw Paul and, and uh Juicy by themselves. See, I would like to see like I've seen Tool. I would like to see I would like to see Ween. I'd like to mm. see three six. I would like to see Ween three six. And man, I know he's dead, but I would love to see UGK live. Oh, there's a lot of dead artists. So I would love to see a Jimi Hendrix concert. Oh my god! Imagine being at that Woodstock. Oh, oh, dude, that would be amazing. I still want to go to. I wish if uh, I want to go to. I want to go back and go to all three. To of them. I don't want to be in all that craziness Shit. of '99. You better put me at the but front damn row. I, I want to see all three of you, them. You know, like, if I was three at, weekends in a row. If I was, oh wow, really? So yeah. what's the, what was the first one like? Sixty seven or sixty nine? Sixty nine. Then you got ninety four, and then ninety nine. So, God, bro, you gonna have you need some regeneration <laughs> time, bro? Because those concerts last for about three yeah, days. Exactly. Nah, but like Thursday, you get there on Thursday, you stay till Sunday. Thursday, Friday. Okay, that's four days. So oh, now you got yeah. <laughs> so Monday, Tuesday, you got three days to recoup. <laughs> yep. Now you going to ninety four. Thursday, I'm going heading toward the next one. Yeah. Well, you better look. Take a day off on ninety four because when you go into ninety nine, Lord have mercy. Yeah, ninety nine will have to be the last one, and it's a good thing it was because of what happened. I think they'll do another. No, I don't. I think I don't think that was the last one, was it? Uh, you know, when we covered the biggest festivals all time, they labeled that as an annual event. Yes, every year. But when you look up Woodstock, there was only three dates. Yeah, you're right. So I, I don't. Maybe there's a smaller festival. That they call Woodstock that plays every year. I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, man. We we again. This is how me and Smokey talk. We could talk about this all day. And mm-hmm. guys, this is legitimate. We don't think we're gonna get any people that watch our reactions or or obviously if you don't like music, our reactions or listen yeah. to the podcast. But if there's anyone out there who generally just doesn't enjoy music, give us an explanation why. And also or if there is someone who Imagine someone who watches, watches the re- just the talking, skips past the song <laughs> and just watches the talking. Listen, I wanna say something, bro. <laughs> we get some comments. Again, shout out to all the diehard trash talkers. But we get some comments to say, wow, you guys talked for four or five, six minutes before mm-hmm. the reaction. The name of our channel is called <laughs> The trash, trash Talkers. Talkers. We talk about what we think, yeah. what it's going to be about the band. We watch the reaction, and mm-hmm. then we talk about it. Two things I'll say to that. There are the songs on YouTube by themselves. If you just want to hear the music, just listen to the music. Or if you really need to see somebody bob their head to it, there are reaction channels out there where they say absolutely nothing of importance. You get like 30 seconds, maybe sometimes 15 seconds before the song. They start the song. They just do this the whole time. Then it's over. Like, that's a great song. Tell me what you want me to listen to next. And you know what? That's fine if you do that. Yeah, if that's your lane, that's what you do. And and you come watch us. If you want to skip past all our talking and just go straight to the reaction, we enjoy it. That's fine. That's what you do. They put the time marks up on on YouTube. Yes, if that's what you want to do, by all means do it. Because, Mm -hmm. but coming from two musicians, two rappers who actually make music, we talk about it. We We need to analyze the music. Yes. Thank you. That's the best way. Mm Mm-hmm. What do we have any OMG or? We do. Yeah. <laughs> is it a 
W is it a Omaha, Florida? Or uh, Omaha, Florida? this one. Wait, Omaha. We got what one the Florida, for Florida. Sorry. What the Florida? What the and we have a Dallas, Dallas. Texas. God, Dallas. <laughs> That's it. What the Florida and God, Dallas. <laughs> God, Dallas. Yes. All right. These are some crazy headlines too, or one of them's crazy. The other one's kind of tragic. But all right. <clears throat> one headline says, "Hey, is that a naked God. man on top of that eighteen wheeler?" A question mark. That's the headline. <laughs> that is the actual headline. I already headline. know where that's from. Wait, the, wait, what'd you say the other one's from? Dallas, right? Yes. Okay, let me hear the other one. An airline worker died after being ingested into the engine of a plane. plane. Oh my god, that is terrible. Mm hmm. Um. So this one's not funny. It's just a, a tragic I, yeah, event. But I, I know I lost last week, but I know for 100% fact I'm going to get this right. The right. naked man on top of the 18 wheel is definitely from Florida. <laughs> no question without a doubt. And Dallas is the, the airplane tragic event. Yeah, absolutely. Damn, that's sad. All right. Pl no, I want to hear about the Dallas first because I want yeah, to get the, the tragedy out of yeah. the way. <laughs> An airline ground crew, crew worker. Oh, actually, uh, this is Montgomery, Alabama. But. Okay, but it says here at Dallas Fort Worth. Oh, I guess the picture is from Dallas, mm. but the actual event happened in Alabama. Alabama. Okay, okay. <clears throat> from a worker in Montgomery, Alabama, died after being ingested into the engines so of a parked plane on Saturday, said the National Transportation Safety Board. In a statement provided to NPR, the NTSB said it has opened an investigation into the death. The incident involved the Amberer, Amberer, I guess, 170 aircraft, whatever that's called. A medium-range jet that can hold about 70 passengers, which had flown from Dallas to Montgomery. That's wow. it. The The victim has not been named yet. Oh, my God, <laughs> that's sad. Uh, neither company responded to NBA. Wait, so it was, it was sucked in the engine, not the turbine. Yeah, and I've actually seen videos of this happening before. You'll Where the hell are you finding these videos? Dude, you will scroll through shorts, <laughs> and it'll just it'll show one. Like, these are not deaths because they wouldn't be showing them on shorts. But, yes, there's been ones where people will stand in front of the engine as it fires up and get sucked up into it. And the engine, not the turbine. Yeah, yeah well, the engine is the turbine. Okay, so we're talking about, is, we're talking about the turbine. Yeah. God, that's so sad, bro. Would you rather go face if you if you were if you were getting sucked in and you had oh, face first? You, if I'm gonna die, definitely. I'm gonna go face first. If I'm gonna live, then let's go feet first. God. I mean, I'd rather. Uh, if I'm gonna live, yeah, I'd I rather mean, just I'd rather be missing my feet just... or legs than have my face all mangled. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can roll around in a wheelchair. I learned how You'll to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Look, this is not a laughing matter. All right, give yeah. me, let me hear the crazy. The, All right. It's the this naked is, guy. This is the main event of the headline right here. That's This is the actual headline. Hey, is that a naked man on top of that 18 wheel? I could just see somebody. Woo, let's go, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and the story goes, hey. Is that a naked man on top of that 18-wheeler? Why, yes. Yes, it is. If you thought you saw a naked man riding on the back of an 18-wheeler as it drove down I-75 recently, you weren't imagining it. <laughs> Police say a nude dude decided... A nude, the nude dude. <laughs> decided to get out of his car during a traffic jam and run through traffic last week, eventually ending up on the back of a tractor-trailer rig. <laughs> As the rain fell, the man clad the man clad only in sneakers and short socks ran around and generally raised hell on the flatbed yeah, truck. He don't sneaker. He was good, dude. That's a legend. I'm sorry, that's a legend. This dude only had on he had on probably the freshest pair of Jordans you've ever seen in your life. And nothing else. Just on top of just. <laughs> Johnson going one way. Ball just <laughs> whoosh, Dude, whoosh, balls whoosh. dancing dance. <laughs> just going. Man. I don't <laughs> The things you can see in Florida, man. Man, shout out to our Floridians out there. I mean, that's mm -hmm. like the girl jumping going free uh skydiving naked. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I mean, some people just got yeah. they want to do things, you know? There's laws in place though. Like oh, you're... what if there's kids in traffic? Wait a minute. He definitely had to get a... a First of all, how are you on top of a tractor-trailer? Oh, it was a flatbed. 
But so it still. wasn't the box. He didn't get up on top of the box. It was just the flatbed. And apparently the truck starts going and he's just running around on the bed. How? You could... Only in Florida, dude. <laughs> Physics don't... Gravity does not work in Florida because any... It would take you his back. Logic doesn't work in Florida. No. <laughs> that is a completely illogical state and nothing in Florida makes sense to the rest of the world. Florida says F physics. Yes. Damn it. This yeah, is Florida. We don't believe in physics down here. Hell no. Mm-hmm. Man, this was a, this was a fun smoke. Absolutely. This was a good one, man. Yes. Um... Guys, again, let us know if there's anybody out there who doesn't enjoy music, which I don't think we're going to comment on that. Dude. I doubt it, but I would love to hear your story. If, if you, I, I am dying to see that comment, mm-hmm. 100%. And also, give us some crazy stories where you guys are from. We might actually bring those up on you know, the next podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Give us, crazy- give us a... I mean, I would love to get stories from your hometown so I could put them in the... Yes, that'd be great. The, uh, OMG, WTF, yeah. whatever. Whatever you guys want to call it. If you have some crazy stories, leave them down in the comments. It's a comment section. We'll be more than happy to read them out. But, mm-hmm. I mean, this was a, this was an interesting Tuesday morning, Smokey. Yes, it was. Absolutely, guys. Stay like, away from the fungus. Stay away from the fungus. Mm-hmm. Unless they're good mushrooms. But, no, what I want to say is, guys, if you um guys want to be... Uh, if you guys want your comment read on the next podcast, please leave your comment down below. If we get enough, enough likes, you will be on the top three read comments on the next podcast. And with that being said, my name is Behringer Hollywood 6. Bye. I'm trying not to hit you. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. I thought you was just by the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you the elbow this time. <laughs> Damn.